It is time for a therapy segment where we offer advice to someone's problem by reading it on the air, then opening up the phones. Now, to get yours on the air, go to the Tony Scott Show page at kmjm.com. Dear Tony, I think it's time that I ask my wife for a DNA test on my son. Uh, the reason is because since the baby was born, I haven't had a father-son connection with him. I just have this feeling that he's not my son. My wife says that it's, it takes time. Maybe I'm just nervous from being a father for the first time, but I don't think it's that. My heart and my gut just tells me something's wrong. My wife tries to push me to have a connection with him. I walk through the door and she just hands me off, hands him off to me. And when I look at him, I don't see me. And it's not just the inside, it's the outside too. I have brown eyes. My wife has brown eyes, but he has blue eyes. My wife is dark skin, but he is light skin and I'm brown skin. He's got freckles and brown wavy hair and no one in my family has brown hair or blue eyes. My wife tries to tell me that it's all inside of my head. She tells me that he takes after her side. I don't know anybody in her family that has freckles or blue eyes. I don't know what to do. Is this all in my head, Tony, or do I really need to ask her for a DNA test? Well, you don't have to ask her for a DNA test. You're his father too, right? You can take him for a DNA test. You can do that. You don't have you don't need her permission. You're you're half the pan, you're you're one, you know, one half of the deal. So if you feel that way, take him for a DNA test. But know this that if you're wrong, you may do irreparable harm to your marriage. Because what you're doing is you're insinuating that she was unfaithful to you and then tried to pass the child off as yours. If you're wrong, man, that's a big enchilada, man. I I don't know if I want to leave that out there like that. Maybe you could do it on the down low and get a DNA test. You know, swab his mouth when you're babysitting the child and then, you know, send it off. But, I mean, know this too. There are people who have a family that goes back, you know, generations or or one or two generations that have blue eyes in their family, brown wavy hair in their family. My wife had an uncle who had blue eyes and had, you know, brown wavy hair and the rest of the family didn't look anything like that. So it's possible I don't know if it's probable or not, but I'll tell you this. If you want him to have DNA tests, take him for a DNA test. That's my advice. What does Tammy think? What do you think? Uh, let's get your calls. 556-6104.